blocked the president's mm -hmm. nominees was the 60 Minutes report. So that's what prompted you to uh, do this. And now, I mean, you did it the day after and you cited it. And so my, my question is, y are yes, there other yes, ways to get out, uh, to get what yes, you want without threatening uh, the, the president's, uh, the head of the Fed or the head of the uh, Homeland Security Agency? I met with the State Department Thursday about my desire to talk to the five survivors, American personnel, State Department employees, American citizens, independent of the State Department's Accountability Review Board. Nobody in Congress has got to talk to these people. I released two ambassadors that I had to hold on because we're trying to work out a bipartisan way to interview these witnesses. Why? Oversight's important. I want to perform oversight. I'm not trying to prosecute a crime. I'm not trying to defend the British contractor. I want to hear from the people that work for us, that are American citizens in harm's way. What did you feel like when you were told nobody was coming to help you? Did you see a protest? Did you report a protest? Did right. you tell the FBI about a protest? And if they didn't, did you see security concerns before the attack? Did you report them and who to? Fourteen months after the attack, we don't we haven't heard from those who survived the attack congress has an independent duty right. to find out what happened in benghazi and that's what i'm after and i hope we can find a way to get these interviews and release all the holes i i i understand but i want to clarify two things right now y your threat to hold up nominees stands i've released two i released two right with the understanding that we're going to have a bipartisan process to interview the survivors okay. To ask the basic questions. Was there ever a protest? Did you report a protest? Were you concerned about security before right. the attack? But, but it holds in them? general. What did they tell you? Depending on the situation, your uh, threat to yes. place holds, it holds. Okay. And, and finally. The, yeah, the only, and can I just say, the only reason is I've been trying for a year to get the interviews without holes. And you just can't allow something this uh, bad and this, this big of a national security failure for the administration to investigate itself. I don't want to hold anybody. All right. I want to do is talk to the survivors, protecting their security, protecting their identity, to find out exactly what did happen. Was it a okay. protest? Was it an Al-Qaeda inspired Let attack? Let me ask you How quickly. How did President Obama and Secretary right. Clinton miss the rise of Al-Qaeda in Libya?